Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. And as I promised yesterday that once I have all the information for the new event that is a returning player event, I'm going to make a video and this video guys is dedicated for that. But before we continue, I just wanted to say thank you for Lioness the Kebab Addicted for helping me build this video. All the screenshots came from her and the video is from my account that is actually interstate in 396 that I moved before from state 35. And at the same time, I just wanted to say that I have no idea what is the exact requirement for you to be able to activate or trigger this event, but this is pretty similar to the state transfer. And for Lioness, for her case, she wasn't off online rather for 70 days and she is a Plasma 5 player and she also have four other accounts that have the same event. So like I said in my previous video that this is pretty similar connected to state, state transfer, but you don't really need to transfer state. You have an option to either stay in your state or transfer to a new state. It's all up to you guys. And once you logged in, you will prompt to the option of which states you are going to go or you stay in your state. And once you join an alliance, all the buffs there when it comes to the trap, the plague zone, and then the gathering will be auto applied to your alliance. So once you join an alliance, you will give them 10% uh, extra rally capacity for every player and then 10% for the plague zone consumption of reduction reduction of the consumption of stamina and then 4% for gathering increase so it means that you can stack this up up to 5 so for example there are 5 uh, players who haven't logged in for quite a long time and they joined your alliance all these 5 players can stack up their their buffs and then for example if you have five players to return and then for your rally capacity of course that will be 50 percent reduction for your stamina consumption for plagues and will be 50 percent and 20 percent increase for gathering and this applies to the entire alliance guys next once you invited a returning player to your alliance, she can or she or he can rally the infected fiend up to five times daily and you get five rally chests for each rally. And the rewards are random from adhesive, for alloy, for chief gear, for tactical, resource supply, and then buy cups. This is so random guys. And like you can see here, she can actually do rallies up to 50 times per month. I'm not really sure what is the duration of this, but once I have all the information, I will be updating you as well. And then along with this, like that when you do the trace state transfer or the state transfer feature, you will also have additional tasks that would be the welcome back and the return sprint. And this one, you just need to complete all the tasks here as as accumulate or you say, well, every time you complete a task, you get the music note. And every time you unlock a level, you get additional rewards. At the same time, if you are going to do that return sprint, that will be five days and every day you will have three different categories to finish and each of that, every time you complete a task, you get rewards as well. I am so confused though because in the update patch, they said that this is a seven days event, but if you are actually on that account, like what Lion has showed me, it shows there, there that the event duration is actually 14 days, guys. So 14 days for you to, for her to finish all the tasks and enjoy the buffs, but maybe it is a glitch in the writing that they forgot to update that. I'm not really sure. And then next is the returning player binding. So bind with the returning player in your alliance and share tasks to get rewards. Log in for three consecutive days and at least you will have an HQ of level 10. So once there is a returning player on your state, it will show you in your pop-up on your state, like a note there, and then you got to invite her or him in your alliance, and once you invited them, that will automatically give your alliance boost, and then you can invite or apply binding with that player. Uh, once you apply binding and they confirm that, so two of you will be sharing the same task, 
and both of you will get the same rewards so for every day for 14 days like i said in the patch note they said it's seven days but here it actually runs for 14 days and if you are connected with a player is returning you are going to share the task that you are going to complete and every time you complete you will get corresponding rewards for that so for day one or day two rather what you are going to do is to collect or use one minute speed up so both of these players the returning player and the player is going to bind with her which she actually accepted will finish i'm not really sure how much they need to do that to unlock all the rewards but i'm going to ask her again tomorrow aside from the rewards that the returning player and then the alliance or the boss that the alliance members are going to get and also the rewards that the returning player is going to to share with another active player they can also get more gifts so like the player said lioness said that this ally courage has automatically added to their alliance she haven't bought anything here guys and she said that this is more than three packs so that's it for today guys and i hope that this helps you familiarize with a new event and good luck to all of us